Hello, welcome. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Wi-Fi kits, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth kits in one of these Dell Octiplex machine. This process itself applies to any Dell Octiplex machine, you know, all the way from Intel fourth generations. Um, so the process is the same. The placement of the antennas and everything else is the same. It's just that from 10th generations onwards uh, this external this internal antenna itself is slightly different than the older models but the process is the same to be honest physically they look almost the same it's just that this way width wise uh, this one is slightly higher i don't know why dell decided to do that just to make life difficult otherwise it would have been the same for all the dell octoplex machines Anyway, moving on, uh, to begin, you just have to make sure you got all the parts. So you're going to need one of these, which is an internal antenna. And then you will need this, which is the external antenna. So you got the internal antenna and external antenna and the card itself. So this is an Intel based card and this is a Wi-Fi 6. So you're going to need one of these. In these machines, these are backward compatible, so if you have even older cards, as long as they have um, cutouts like that, it should fit. And it would work because these machines uh, they are backward compatible. And then you will also get with the kit one of these plastic thing just to make, uh, just to keep wires uh, held together. And then you would need a mounting screw that will screw the intel card into the motherboard so now to begin with what you have to do is all optiflex machine has a tiny little screw right there so you just unscrew that once that's unscrewed this top part should slide off so what you do is with your thumb push the top bit slightly forward and it will slide off once you open it we will start with the internal antenna now this is the corner where the internal antenna goes sometimes there might be some black uh, cover there so peel that off once you peeled it off you will see this particular antenna will slide right in there actually slot right in there now as i said earlier on up to up to 9th gen from all the way uh, from from 4th gen all the way up to 9th gen this particular antenna was slightly smaller and then from 10th gen onwards they decided to make it slightly beefier so you can follow the same tutorial anyway but when you buy this internal internal antenna make sure you buy the older one so that slots right in and when it's slotted in you will see the hole will align as well so you get this sorry I did not show this screw earlier on so you get two screws one for the card itself and one for the internal antenna now screw that on tightly if you don't have that screw probably use some sticky two sticky uh, two-sided tapes just to make sure this is securely set now here you have to be a little crafty so you see that little metal bit just under the motherboard there is a little opening so push this through you might have to apply just a bit of force with maybe with your nail or a flathead screw if you push it the wire goes right under so do that all the way okay so as you can see the wire has gone under that metal bit and then bring it through here sorry it just came right out bring it through here okay so that's the internal antenna done Just to make sure it's gone under completely. 
Okay, now that's under there. So that's the internal antenna done. Now in terms of the external antenna, your machine should have two holes like that. So sometime you might be covered like that. So put a flathead screw screwdriver right through there and if you apply a bit of force it will snap right off. And what you do is take this nut and the little ring off. And feed it straight through there. Put this ring in between. And screw that on. Now make sure you do that really tightly. And once this, I'm not going to do that tight, but you should. And then you screw that on. Now the external part is done. Now we're left with two wires. Okay, so here is something to note and pay attention to. Um, this card itself has two slots. Okay, so one of them is uh, black and one of them is white. So it's in some cards, it, it's just a bit confusing. Sometimes it's not written. So put the uh, on the main put the external antenna and on the aux put the internal one because the external one tends to be tends to have better range just bear in mind uh, the machine don't use both of the antennas at the same time uh, sometimes most of the time machine will use the main antenna for uh, signal but if you cannot get good signals on the main it will switch to auxiliary the second secondary one so this is just to make sure machine has seamless connection even if one of the antennas get covered or one areas of the room is not getting signal so you will scan through the secondary one so on odd occasions if this particular positioning doesn't work what you can do is just switch them and see if the connection improves once once you've connected them make sure you know this uh, to put them on sorry i forgot to mention firstly align the end of the antenna and the slot together and once they're aligned with your fingernail apply slight pressure and you would you should hear it or feel a satisfactory click once that's clicked on, it should stay there securely and put that plastic cover on. Now these wires won't come off. Once you've done that, slot the card right in there. Okay, now make sure these holes are aligned so you can just screw the card onto the motherboard okay now make sure you've done the basic tidy ups uh, make sure these wires are not standing in the way there are little wire feeder through so put them behind them and press those clips just to make sure these wires is securely set so one thing to note depending on the models you see this little cutout right there there might be just one cutout so with some Dell models this cutout is right there so it's, it's probably worth checking when you're buying your card the placement of the divider because these cards they come in two different cutouts so one of them has just one cutout in the middle this particular one has two cutouts so the ones with two cutouts is they go with almost all machines but some of them they have just one cutout this one the middle one and what happens is that 
we won't be able to fit that one with the middle cutout in this machine because I will show you let's say this one it's not gonna go in because it needs the second cutout so on particularly on the Dell 3080 model the cutouts on the left I don't know why Dell made this this way but the subsequent models they moved it to the right so you can use both cards okay so once you've installed it turn the machine on and it's more than likely your machine will detect the card and start working if it doesn't turn it on and off a couple of times make sure your um, Wi-Fi M.2 slot is actually turned on and en enabled in the BIOS settings sometimes you might have to get the driver so take the model number of the card that you got and then search on the internet for the driver and update the driver even if it detects automatically I highly suggest updating the drivers because when you update the drivers uh, you get more security as well as more stable connection because obviously Intel, excuse me, Intel is constantly updating uh, for good and I hope that was uh, helpful if the original parts are a bit expensive for you if you check through our account the ebay account or youtube account you will see more videos on generic antenna parts the generic ones they are much cheaper and in most cases provide very comparable speed and reliability so do check those out to get them cheaper thank you for watching